Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Laura, and today I'm doing I'm pre-recording Top Five Wednesday, and the topic today is fandom. So uh, things that I love. So. Um, I tried to think of five things that I love, and uh, I'm going to share with you um, certain things uh, that I love. So, um, Top 5 Wednesday is originally by Jane, um, Ginger, by Ginger Reads Laney, um, and I always link below uh, the Goodreads group, so if you'd like to join us, you can. So, um, coming in, um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do five to one, so, um, Coming in at five would be a book, um, um, a book that I read in high school. Uh, let's see. Um, I graduated in 1988. Um, so, um, in the 80s, <laughs> I read this book and this book was finally what got me into reading again. Um, it is an adult book. Um, it, um, has, um, inappropriate um, stuff in there. So, uh, but this book got me into reading. Once I started reading this book, I wanted to read every single book she wrote. Um, and this author is no longer alive. Um, and I've mentioned this author before, um, in my videos. And the book, um, that I'm talking about is called Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. Uh, once I started to read this book, um, this is creepy. Um, the mother puts, they live in a mansion and the mother, um, somehow with the grandmother, um, hides the kids, um, in the attic and it was really creepy and things happen and there is, um, incest in this book. Uh, but when I was reading it in the 80s, I didn't know <laughs> what I was reading, but it was just so creepy. And um, this is, till this day, I still remember reading this book. Um, now, I did bring my husband to see this movie, and to this day, he will not let me pick any movies out. So, uh, yeah, he hated the movie, and he did not read the book, um, but... I just thought this book was really creepy, um, and, um, I really enjoyed it, and I had to go buy a copy. Um, I haven't read it again. I only read it, what, in the 80s, so, um, yeah, but I did read all the books all the way up until the author died, so, um, and then, um, someone took over in their family and started writing, uh, books for, um, for her so but her all her books started to be the same with the creepiness so um yeah so that's the first one the second thing um that i um uh, a movie a kids movie that i really really love and i couldn't find my movie i have it somewhere in the house but i couldn't find it so i had to do a printout of it uh, my favorite um uh, kids movie would be despicable me um, and it looks like this, and everybody's seen this movie, and it was really cool. I just really loved the music in it, I just loved the storyline, um, and this story really reminds me of that kid's book, um, Unfortunate Events. Um, it has, like, the same type theme where they have an uncle, and he has to take care of the orphans, and, um, I just really like this movie, and this is my favorite, um, so far of all the kids movies that I've watched so uh, and of course we watched that over and over again when the kids were small so the next uh, character that I really really like and I've liked this all since um, since my teenage years um, is Snoopy um, I love Snoopy um, I've collected Snoopy, I've talked about Snoopy, um, I also even named my husband, that's his nickname, I used to call him Snoopy, um, there was a little thing where he used to have these droopy pants, and they used to be falling off of him, 
And um, he said, what did you say? And I said, oh, I said Snoopy. So since that day, I really was trying to say Droopy Draws. Uh, but since that day, um, yeah, I've been calling him Snoopy. And um, yeah, I've loved, I've loved Snoopy little characters and stuff. So that's the third one. The fourth one. I found the movie. Okay, Naomi found the movie. So, uh, yeah, here's Despicable Me. I couldn't find it when I was doing the video. So, here's my Despicable Me movie. So, <laughs> um, another, um, what am I up to? One, two, three, four, four, okay. Um, my fourth thing is the fandom. I've been watching this since I was a teenager in my, in the 1980s. I used to watch it at my friend's house. How oh, grandma used to watch it, and I used to watch it. And I still watch it. It's still on. They just celebrated their 50th year, and it is Days of Our Lives. And I bought the magazine. Um, this is the 50th anniversary edition. Um, and I've been watching this way back when. Um, these were my favorite characters. Bo and Hope. Um, and uh, his patch, the patch and Kayla was my second favorite. Um, I also like Jennifer and um, Jennifer and Jack. Um, yeah, so that this is my favorite um, all-time TV show. I've been watching it for years. Um, Bo actually reminds me of my husband back when in the '80s. He used to have the long hair just like that, with the beard and the mustache. He um, just looked like my husband, so um, yeah. So that's my favorite show of all time. So I hope it still stays on. Today, uh, this year is their fiftieth, um, and uh, yes, I'm still watching it. So yes, so that's that. And the last thing that I have is my number one thing that I go to all the time would have to be, oops, what happened here? Uh, would have to be my iPhone. Um, I have an iPhone. It is a 5.0, um, and I use this for everything. I carry it. This is the case that I have on here. I clip it to my um, wrist or my waist, and I leave it in my pocket. Um, it ch it checks. Um, it tracks my uh, walking. Um, I use it for uh, messaging my my kids and my husband. Um, and I check my Facebook, my emails on here. Uh, I do, uh, oh, I've been listening to audiobooks. That's why my headphones are attached to it because I was listening to Outlander, which I'm hoping to finish. Um, I'm almost done, so I'm hoping to finish it today. Um, so I use this a lot for everything. I do Pinterest on here, um, and I really like it, but I do need an update. This is a five something. Um, and my birthday is coming up in February, so I'm hoping my husband, um, gets me a new phone for my birthday. So that's my, uh, hoping because I cannot tape any, I used to use this for videoing. Now I'm using my iPad to video. I can't use my iPhone anymore. So there's no much memory on it, even though I took everything off of it. I just don't, it just, it's, it's dead. It's almost dying. So I need a new one. So, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed all the uh, fandoming I did today. Um, I didn't know what else to do. So, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!